and getting so large that it will engulf the orbit of Mercury and Venus and come very close to Earth. So imagine looking on the horizon and sunrise is half the sky. The cosmic drama playing out in our night sky. The enigmatic Betelgeuse, a star that has captured our attention for ages, has just begun an amazing voyage of transformation, and something major is about to happen, according to Neil deGrasse Tyson. Its light has surpassed all expectations, illuminating the heavens with an intensity that astounds astronomers. But what could be causing this mind-bending phenomenon? Join us as we dive into the intriguing story of Betelgeuse's recent evolution. So is a big star getting ready to explode? A star called Betelgeuse that's quite close to us, relatively speaking. It's a special star, way bigger and brighter than our sun. This star will have a spectacular moment in the future when it explodes, kind of like a huge fireworks show in space. When that happens, it could shine as brightly as the full moon, which is amazing to think about. We might even see it during the day. But here's the mystery. When will this star explode? People used to say it could be any time, even in a thousand years, but things have changed recently. In the past few years, scientists have noticed that Betelgeuse is acting a bit strange. Sometimes it gets brighter and sometimes it gets dimmer. It's like it's trying to tell us something. Just now, in June 2023, some scientists wrote a new paper about Betelgeuse. They looked at how stars work and how they make light. Inside stars, tiny particles come together to create bigger particles and this process makes the star shine. But when a star runs out of these particles, it's like its batteries are empty and it can go boom. That's when a supernova happens. The cool part is that the scientists in June's paper said Betelgeuse might be getting ready for this big explosion much sooner than we thought. They used some clever ideas and tools to watch how Betelgeuse moves and changes. Based on what they saw, they said Betelgeuse could explode not in thousands of years, but maybe in just a few decades. That's like saying something might happen not in a hundred birthdays, but maybe in just a few vacations. So Betelgeuse, this star that's been shining for a very long time, might be getting ready for its grand finale, a cosmic show that we don't want to miss. Let's make things clear. Our knowledge about exploding stars in our galaxy, known as supernovae, isn't very complete. But if we could witness a supernova anywhere in our Milky Way, especially one as close as Betelgeuse, it would be quite a lucky event during our lifetimes. And imagine this, Betelgeuse bursting in just a few decades? It's an incredible idea that's got everyone talking. But can this really happen? Here are a couple of messages from Twitter that have sparked new discussions. The first tweet, dated Friday, June 2nd, talks about this few decades possibility. Another interesting tweet, this time from at Beetlebot on Twitter, which shares regular updates about the star, comes from May 18, 2023. It mentions that the star's brightness has recently shot up by nearly 50%. Keep in mind that Betelgeuse is hidden behind the sun during summer, so we'll have to wait until it reappears before sunrise in late summer to see what's really happening with it. Stars light up the sky because they go through a special kind of fiery reaction inside them. They take simple things like hydrogen and turn them into more complex things like helium. This process releases a lot of energy, like a big cosmic bonfire. But big stars, ones much heavier than our sun, have a grand finale that's even more impressive. As these hefty stars get older, they use up their fuel. It's like running out of firewood for the cosmic bonfire. But they don't just fizzle out, they start burning even heavier stuff until they reach a point where they're burning iron, which is super heavy. At this point, the cosmic bonfire can't burn anymore, no more energy is being made and it's like the fire goes out. This is when things get interesting. The star, which was once blazing and huge, starts to shrink. It's like a balloon deflating. But then something incredible happens. The star can't take the squeezing anymore so it bounces back. This bounce back is so powerful that it causes a mind-blowing explosion, brighter than you can imagine. This kind of explosion is called a supernova. So stars like Betelgeuse, which are really big and heavy, explode in a certain way called a Type II supernova. They collapse quickly and then burst apart with a huge bang. When exactly this happens depends on what's going on inside the star, how much fuel it has left to burn, and how close it is to collapsing under its own weight. But what's going on inside Betelgeuse? The recent study online mentioned, we think that Betelgeuse is at the late phase of core carbon burning. For a big star like Betelgeuse, 
This carbon burning phase goes on for about a thousand years. If we're almost done with this phase, then Betelgeuse might be reaching the end of its life and might explode, maybe even in just a few decades. But hold on, there are other possibilities too. A really interesting article about Betelgeuse came out on June 2, 2023 on Universe Today. It talks about the science behind figuring out whether Betelgeuse is getting ready to explode. The writer highlighted something important from the study. What's not getting as much attention is the next part of the research paper. In fact, it is not possible to determine the exact evolutionary stage because surface conditions hardly change in the late stage close to the carbon exhaustion and beyond, the researchers write. Astronomers can only see the surface, but it's what's happening deep inside the star that tells the tale. The authors of the paper are saying that based on what they've seen, studied and simulated, Betelgeuse could blow up sooner than we thought. But here's the twist. They're not sure about the exact phase of the carbon burning inside the star. Some models that match the data suggest that carbon burning might actually continue for quite a while. So basically, we're back to square one. We're pretty much where we started. Betelgeuse might decide to explode really soon, or it might wait for a few decades, or it could even wait for around a thousand years. The possibilities are wide open. But why did Betelgeuse get dimmer in 2019? Back in late 2019, Betelgeuse did something quite dramatic that caught everyone's attention. It started to dim a lot, and this event is now known as the Great Dimming of Betelgeuse. People got excited because they thought this might mean the star was about to explode. Now, even though Betelgeuse played around with its brightness, going bright again and then dimming again, it still hasn't gone kaboom. But why did it dim? Scientists studied data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other telescopes, and they figured out that Betelgeuse kind of blew off a part of itself in 2019. It's like the star had a little explosion on its surface, something we've never seen happen in a normal star before. Do you know how our sun sometimes releases bits of its outer part in space in something called a coronal mass ejection? Well, Betelgeuse did something similar, but on a cosmic scale. This event, called a surface mass ejection, was a whopping 400 billion times more massive than what our sun usually does. It's like Betelgeuse had a really big sneeze in space. It turns out that the great dimming of Betelgeuse in 2019 happened because of a cloud of hot gas that the star spewed out. This cloud got in the way and temporarily covered some of the star's light. But don't think the action is over at Betelgeuse, and will its supernova destroy Earth? Now when Betelgeuse finally decides to pop, Earth is in a safe spot. The explosion won't harm us, not even a little bit. We'd need to be around 160 light years closer to a supernova for it to even start affecting us. Betelgeuse is much farther away, about four times that distance. Instead, when Betelgeuse eventually goes boom, people on Earth will witness an incredible show in the night sky, a star shining super duper brightly. It's like a cosmic fireworks display. For scientists who study stars, an exploding Betelgeuse nearby is like a dream come true. They'll get to watch and learn from the star after its explosive performance. At the same time, regular folks who love looking at the stars will also get a treat. But for those who enjoy spotting Betelgeuse as the bright red star in the constellation Orion, it's a bit of a bittersweet moment. When it's gone, it will surely be missed. For those of us in the mid-northern parts of the world, something special happens every year around the beginning. Betelgeuse, this remarkable star, makes its appearance just as the sun is setting. It's like a grand entrance to the night sky, and you can't miss it during January and February evenings. As March arrives, Betelgeuse takes its place high in the southern sky during the early evening. By the middle of May, it makes a short appearance in the western sky after sunset. But during early summer, it's kind of playing hide-and-seek behind the sun. No worries, though. By late July, Betelgeuse is back in the game rising in the eastern sky before dawn. In August, you can spot it in the eastern sky before sunrise, especially in the constellation Orion, which sometimes goes by the name Ghost of the Summer Dawn. Betelgeuse is like a superstar with its unique orange-red glow. It's the perfect example to show doubters that stars do indeed have colors. Even though stars with the title Alpha are usually the brightest in their groups, Betelgeuse goes by the name Alpha Orionis. Interestingly, it's not as bright as another star in Orion, Rigel. When we talk about overall brightness, Betelgeuse is the tenth brightest star in the whole sky, and for most folks in the US, Canada, Europe, and a lot of the Northern Hemisphere, 
it's the seventh brightest star you can see. Imagine the night sky with Orion shining bright and Betelgeuse adding its own colorful charm. It's like a magical painting with stars scattered across a tropical backdrop. Ever heard of the movie Betelgeuse? Betelgeuse might remind you of that name. Many bright stars have names with Arabic origins. This is because during Europe's dark ages, Arabic astronomers and astrologers were the big players in the field. Betelgeuse's name comes from Arabic, and it's often translated as the armpit of the giant. The giant refers to Orion, the constellation. But instead of being an armpit, some interpretations see Betelgeuse as a hand or even a shoulder. In ancient star maps, it's the spot that marks Orion's right shoulder. Speaking of Orion, in old stories and myths, this constellation was often linked to a giant, warrior, hunter, or even a god. So it makes sense that Betelgeuse's name is tied to its location on Orion's body. In Sanskrit, it represented an arm, and in ancient Japan, it was a part of a ceremonial drum's rim. In Brazil, it was linked to a caiman's leg or a turtle's foreleg. And in Peru, it symbolized one of four vultures ready to feast on a criminal. Betelgeuse's exact position in the sky is recorded as RA05H55M10.3053S DEC plus 0.07 degree 2425.4. At last, one day, Betelgeuse will put on an incredible show by exploding as a supernova. This explosion will be so bright that we might see it even during the daytime from Earth. But don't worry, Betelgeuse is far enough away that we won't be in any danger when it happens. It's like a cosmic fireworks display that we get to enjoy from a safe distance. In conclusion, Betelgeuse is a captivating star that has intrigued astronomers, storytellers, and stargazers for centuries. Its potential to explode as a supernova adds an air of mystery and anticipation to its future. While we're uncertain about the exact timing of its explosion, recent studies suggest it could happen sooner than we thought. As we keep learning about the secrets of the world, don't forget to stay curious and keep looking up at the stars. If this look at Betelgeuse's journey through space was interesting to you, don't forget to like this video and tell us what you think in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about the universe that will blow your mind, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep reaching for the stars.